Hi guys, so today we're going to be making these easy and delicious croutons. So the first step you're going to want to do is select your bread. I'm using a variety, but about any kind will work. Then we're going to cut them into strips and then into cubes. I'm using whole wheat bread, but since we had some of this leftover sourdough, we're going to try and use some of this. After cutting up all of your croutons, you're going to want to add two tablespoons of oil, and then you're going to mix those in. You can either do this with clean hands or tongs. Our final step here is to add two more tablespoons of oil, then we're going to bake that at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. To make your croutons even more flavorful, chop up some cilantro. We're using just our desired amount, but you can use as much as you want depending how many croutons you're making. Make sure that this is very finely chopped. Then about halfway through baking, you're going to make sure you flip your croutons so that they are fully cooked. We're going to add our cilantro to a bowl, and next we're going to mince three garlic cloves. You might need to mince more depending how many croutons you're making. So there are two ways to mince your garlic. You can do it by hand with a knife, and if you don't know how to do it, then you can just watch it right here. Or the second way is you can use a garlic press. You won't get as much as garlic, but it'll go a little faster. And to get the most garlic out, you're just going to want to scrape it all out with the knife. Add the mix to your croutons and stir them in. Add a one and a half more tablespoons of olive oil. Yes, we need a lot. And put some plastic wrap on top of the bowl and shake it off. Just make sure that it's fully sealed so that none of it flies out. And there you have it, the most easiest yet delicious croutons ever. Like this video and subscribe to Easy Kids Kitchen. Bye!